Doug Lebdo, we're talking about millennials. Does, does any of this terrorism come into play in terms of their willingness to, to make a change or spend money? Uh, I think, well, I think it actually does. I think you're actually seeing places that are safe. Uh, you're not seeing people moving to places like uh, New York City, Chicago, or Detroit. You're seeing people to move where jobs are, and you're also seeing uh, signs of safety. And I think it also says a lot that uh, the United States being as safe as it is from terrorism uh, really helps to hold up our economy and have our economy functioning normally as opposed to some of these other countries where uh, they're experiencing some real pain. Doug, do you think that the uh, rate hike is going to have an impact on the housing market? Uh, not really. We think the housing market's going to continue strong, that rates are probably going to stay below 5% for the year, uh, still very historically low. The biggest thing is really obviously home affordability. Uh, home values have been rising in, uh, in many cities, but uh, uh, home, the mix between home affordability and the actual interest rates are, are what matters, and people should obviously take into account the sum of renting, too, hmm. or the cost of renting. Doug, uh, Arthur Brooks here. Quick question for you. One of our, uh, a lot of our research at AEI has shown that millennials are less likely to start businesses than baby boomers and Gen Xers were at that age, and they're less likely, they're half as likely to move between cities. As a matter of fact, this is the least geographically mobile generation that we've seen in a hundred years. Does that have something to do, or is it related to the fact that people are buying homes in Des Moines and St. Louis as opposed to going to the coasts? Uh, I think it could be. Uh, I think that's uh, I think that's a really good point. If you think about it, uh, you know, obviously things are very expensive on the coast. Um, and I was surprised when I was looking at the data uh, today as well, too. And I lived in Pittsburgh, and believe me, Pittsburgh's a great city, uh, and I loved it. But, uh, you know, I like uh, you can experience the weather up there you're experiencing right now. Uh, it's cold down here in North Carolina, but it sure beats uh, sure beats New York at the moment. Mm -hmm. That that might be a problem for older Americans, Doug. But in terms of younger people, what is the most important thing when they're looking at where they want to live? Is it affordability? I think it really is. I think it's the combination of affordability and good jobs. I mean, you can't obviously buy a house without a good job. And I'm really surprised to see uh, the job markets taking off in some. Uh, unlikely areas, for example, uh, a tech center in Missouri. Who would have, uh, uh, who would have thought? Uh, or uh, uh, you know, uh, housing in D.C., where housing uh, prices are obviously uh, mm -hmm. are obviously going up, or, or even Pittsburgh. I was I was surprised to see the data. And if you go past the top uh, three cities, you'll see a continuing trend. You don't see cities on there like New York and Chicago. So, so real quick, Doug, knowing what we know about rates probably going higher this year, even another two hikes possibly, and knowing what we know about policy coming out of Washington with the tax plan coming sometime this year, do you think real estate and housing gets better or do you think we're going to see a pullback? Um, that's a good question. I think it's going to continue to get better, but modestly. And the reason for that are that lenders are finally uh, opening guidelines. So it's going to be more, ex people are going to, it's going to be easier to get a home. Easier to get a uh, loan, than it yeah, was sure. in the past. Okay. And you're, even, you're going to get approved and, uh, and, I, and rates are still low, and I think that's going to help. Moving things uh, modestly, but I don't see anything, uh, anything, any big moves. Doug, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, and uh, best of luck to everybody in France. Thank you. Yes, we are watching that situation closely. Doug Lebda joining us there.